living the life of the spirit is something that it's a needful to the spirit the spirit that is the holy spirit wanted his people to live a life of the spirit live a life of the spirit is like a test for somebody who is wishing that all of his children will live this kind of life and that will be our benefit because it will help us to emerge or interlat engage him to get close to him to have that relationship with him as the bible says in isaiah 1 come and let us reasoning together so it's when you come to that realm then you are getting close to god because living in the flesh and praying to god freshly will not bring the holy spirit you can never hear the voice of god unless you pray 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 and you get a certain level that you know that you are in the spirit to be able to hear the voice of god so the voice of god cannot be heard heard with your fresh things carnality bible says to be carnal minded is is dead that is amplifies is spiritual dead if you are carnal you are dead in the spirit but if you are spiritual or righteous you are alive in the spirit so that is what bible says so uh, we are here sometimes on earth looking for what they think because africa has been a, a poorless country so as soon as we get born again and people are breaking through because of god we come to church for our knees and when we put our knees before god we can corrupt our relationship with him because first and foremost is to build our relationship with the him in the spirit not in the carnality so if you become carnally minded because i needed husband wife alone car money visa that's why i'm here i'm here i go to church it doesn't work sometimes god can by his own will provide it for us but it does not really work because he brought you here here to a church in the man of god to be used of god to do it to train you so it is time for us to change our passion our desire concerning god because the reason i'm seeking god is all because of my need and sometimes your need becomes light i'm born again because i've been on that demonic attack so i joined that church so that uh, because family members have been dying so that i don't die the motive is not right like i take you as one of the rich men in the church because you have the money i make you an elder or a deacon so you support the church if i do that it's like i've abandoned god and valued you so that you will sponsor as if god can't sponsor as i 59 verse 1 said the hand of god is not short now that he's here heavy so which means god can stretch his hands and provide you anything at the right time but sometimes we think oh he cannot do it so since i found that they came who is rich he will supply everything for the ministry and the bible says he will supply also our needs according to his wickedness and glory by christ jesus so the motive of relating to with somebody we sin against god because we have idolized and really embrace respect that person even more than the holy spirit so god will let something happen between you and that rich person so that he goes so that you will see whether you will still put your confidence in man your confidence must be in god how can you value because my uncle is in is in america is in italy so all my confidence is in him we should stop doing all, all those things stop trusting in mere humans who have put a breath in their nostrils, in their nose. Why hold them nasty? So the one to hold him in esteem is what? Well, is your creator. So you build a relationship with him. Not to this human being who have air in their nose. Whether it's a lawyer or a doctor or a judge, whoever, or pastor, prophet, or accountant or whatever. Oh, they are just human. Put your confidence in God how to be led learn to be led by the spirit which means education learn it means you can study so that you are led by the spirit so you are not led this time by your senses because your senses can work when you are operating spiritual things it's your faith it's when you when you are in the spirit somebody is to teach you to give you eternal life 
you have eternal life but it grows it has to grow and it grows our confidence that human being is a spirit and anything that has anything that is on earth has an expiring date but ye are not in the flesh powerful so then then who is in the flesh and who is in the spirit and who is not in the flesh and who is in the spirit as well which means many of god's people are in the flesh if so be that the spirit of god dwell in you now if any man have this have not the spirit of christ what he is none of his so whoever doesn't have the holy spirit in him or god or jesus in him jesus first before the last two will come god the father and the holy ghost will come then he is not part of god's people understand and if christ be in you the body is dead if christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is is what life because of righteousness but if the spirit of him that raised up jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you when jesus died he couldn't resurrect by himself it was the third person of the trinity the godhead of the trinity the holy ghost went to the cemetery to resurrect jesus back to life he said he would die and came back the third day but he didn't resort it was the holy spirit that brought him back see that spirit that resulted jesus from the day if that spirit is in you it will quicken which means if you are dying you are down you feel dizzy and you, you speak in tongues and pray he said it will revitalize it will energize you you will not die because the spirit of god in you is higher than any disease and sickness nothing can kill you no bad news can bring you down because that same spirit that brought jesus back to life is in you if it's living in you you will be successful in every area of your life make it take on the scriptures and know that you have something in you that is higher than anything on earth jesus died came back to life the power of god jesus holy ghost came and brought him back when he was brought back he had sores on his palms and feet but when he was resurrected no saw on the hands on the feet and then on the side healing power therefore brethren which means brothers and sisters we are debtors not to the fresh to live after the fresh when you remain spiritual that's where you can enjoy the presence of jesus the anointing because when you become too carnal it is only the overflow of the anointing on you that you can feel it on your skin without overflow you will never feel that god is in your room god is in your car god is with you you will never know though he's around but because you are too kind of bring the body down do exercise once a while you fast to bring the body under control there's a reason of fasting jesus used to fast and if you don't fast you will kill yourself you will die what in the spirit because when you learn to be led by the spirit the spirit of god will say that okay we are doing service I'm, I'm ministering. We are about to end the service. That's about 10 minutes to end. The Lord said, Call Auntie Shala from UK and pray for her. I, I was late. So I said, You come. Wow. And then he would say, Say this. And I said, Auntie Shala, this. This. He said, Yeah, yeah, she had that dream. Wow. When I go up, I said, Wow. I, it's not part of. It just came on me. It came upon me that she said this. Which means what? What? I am late. And when I am led, I didn't prevent the suggestion of the spirit. So I'm just already yeah, no, no, I'm charging to you. I, 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 I won't call him. Then I brought hindered the Holy Spirit. I've sinned against God. I've also hindered or been in the miracle. Do I haven't told her? So when you are led by the spirit, you are there. The spirit will say that your situation so a seed on the prophet or his wife every month. He says, oh, they have cars, they have money. Your thought is your mind. Because the devil will never tell you to give your tithe to God so that the devil will come and worry you and your family. The devil will never tell you that go and sow seed. It's the only God. The devil will come again. Go and sow seed. Find some money and go and sow. The second seed goes, oh, I want those. Some people, they can harden their heart. If you wanted to be led by God, the heart should be crystal clear as well as the mind. So that when God drops a message, you know that, ah. When it comes to money, nobody or people don't want to sacrifice. When, but when they are sick, that one they can say, Prophet, the Lord says, has come to you that you should pray for me. You will be here looking for what other things. Now, up to 100 years, you will get everything. But you see that you are useless. You have everything. You have land, you have money, you, you have everything. But 
you are dying in the spirit you are far from the holy ghost small time now we have to show small time fear because you, you are far and the things you have cannot save you because you haven't built your life with the spirit for a long time now so you don't know him he knows you but he don't know him so be in the spirit so that through that you know if you fulfill the desire of the spirit now you also fulfill the, your desire about marriage about traveling about cars about money that's it if you live after the flesh what you shall die that you will die in the spirit you won't die physically but if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body you shall live for as many as are led by the spirit of god what they are the sons of god they are the sons and daughters of god so let the holy spirit lead you as many as are led by the spirit of god they are what the sons of god so if you are not led what you are born again, but you are not a child of God. Because you don't allow the Holy Ghost to lead you. When the Holy Ghost is leading you, you are preventing him not to lead you. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, what? What? Abba, what? Abba, Father. You have been adopted by God. From your parents and from the, from the spirit of darkness. We were once unbelievers and God knows us, but He doesn't know us. We are not a children, and now we have become a children, so He has adopted us.